winking skeever next time your foot's sore. I will. Thank you. What can I do for you? Whoa, sorry. Uh, I'll stay out of your way. Need something? Nope. Hmm? Whoa. Hello. Uh, hi. Excuse me. Whew, really close quarters in there, huh? Okay. Spare some gold for a veteran? N yeah, uh, sorry. Can you spare a septum? Lost an eye during the Great War, or I'd earn it myself. Yeah, here you go. Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. Huh. Always good talking to you, friend. Yeah, take care of yourself. Okay, so that must be bits and pieces. Uh, and it's locked. Okay. Hmm. Bard's College first. Someone there might know where Captain Aldous is. Yeah. You should see me when you get bored, wow. Sunrise and solitude. Kind of pretty. Those hawks are, uh... <laughs> they really like it here, I guess. Proud Spire Manor. Now there's a fine home. Up for sale, too. If you're interested, talk to the steward in the keep. Nope, I'm good. This was the Bard's College, right? Yep, because there's that guy. I think that's who I was talking to oh, yesterday. It's your time to do it Let's find out. Please. Welcome to the Bard's College. I'm the headmaster here. How may I help you? I think I'm looking to apply? Always a pleasure to meet a prospective bard. You should be aware that many apply, but we accept very few people. When possible, we ask applicants to perform tasks the college needs completed. In this case, I do have a task befitting an aspiring bard. Well, uh, what do you need me to do? I do have a way with, um, my voice. Elisif has forbidden the burning of King Olaf, a festival put on by the Bard's College. We need to change her mind. To convince her, I want to read King Olaf's uh, birth. Sorry, part we're in the middle of the something. Can you edda, move? The Please? Living what History of Skyrim. Unfortunately, the verse was lost long ago. And that's where I come in, I take it? Uh, sorry, D do you want to, like... I'll just move a little bit. Yes, according to Giraud, our history's keeper, the portion of the Edda dealing with King Olaf might still exist in Dead Man's Respite. I need you to retrieve the poem. Okay. Uh... I... What's, uh, what's an Edda? I think Giraud here would give you the best explanation of both it and the history of King Olaf's verse. You should speak to him about it. Of course. Um... I'll do that. I wish you luck in finding the verse. Of course. I'll see what I can do. Okay, that got me precisely nowhere. Alright, when in doubt, follow the hawks. There's one. Yes? Uh, sorry for being in your way earlier. I, uh... Yeah. Excuse Need me? Need something? No. Well, yeah. But I don't think she would... No, uh... Excuse me. Hmm? Um... You're with the Legion, right? Do you know who Captain Aldous is? That I am. Train the recruits. Turn boys into men. That sort of thing. Oh. Thinking of asking the General for some training books. Give the soldiers something to do while they're on rest. Something besides drinking. <laughs> Ever seen a book called The Mirror? We used to hand it out to boys looking to learn basic shield work. Uh, if I 
find a copy, I'll keep you in mind, but I've never read it, I don't think. Good on you. Um, Captain, you know Angeline, the the one who runs the apothecary down there? She wonders about her daughter, and I was sent to ask about it. Generally posting information is need to know only. Okay. Well, it's her daughter. I think Angeline deserves to know, don't you? I... I've been trying to find the time and place to let her know. Her daughter was sent to Whiterun. The skirmishes there have been violent. The Whiterun legate, he needed to know the Stormcloak positions. He sent out a party to scout the area. They happened upon a large force. I'm told none of them made it back. Oh. Private Morard, Angela's daughter, was in that scouting party. She needs to be told. Oh, I see. Well, thank you. Need for... something? No, the not- The saved me from the streets, and they can save you from your trials as well. Hmm? Uh, sure. Thank you for everything, Captain. That's, uh... Why am I always the bearer of bad news? Beware, beware, the Dragonborn comes. Hmm? Oop. Yes. Sorry. Excuse me. And I'm going to sell some stuff first. Welcome to Bits and Pieces. I'm sure you'll find what you need here. Maybe so. Hello. Uh. Biren said you got here just before the execution. Must have been a lovely first sight. Uh, I was kind of in a hurry, and I actually didn't notice, but that's okay. Who's Baron? Baron's my husband. He works the forge up at Castle Dower. I barely see him nowadays, what with him filling orders for the army. Oh. Well, I uh, saw him up there last night, so be assured he's working as hard as he can. That's probably a good thing, right? Not the war, I'm... <sighs> I have some things here that I might be able to sell, and I'd like to see what you have as well. Take a look. <sighs> Whoa. That's... an interesting book. I've heard of Vivek. I don't know what I've... I can't remember what I've heard about him, but I've, I've heard of him. Um... Let's see... A drum. That would be fun to have, but... <laughs> I'm not sure where I'd carry it. I, I tend to be, like, all over Skyrim looking at... What? Dungeons and whatnot, so... Uh... What is that thing? Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh... Yeah, um, what do you know about the Bard's College? Are they, like... Do all the Bards in Skyrim come from the Bard's College? Oh, you've got potions. Uh... I would like to take these off your hands, actually. Sorry, I nearly, uh... Missed that. Obviously, I'm going to be out. A lot. It's, uh, wah. Alright then. I, I tend to be, um, that's a nice sphere. You know, all over the place. Right, I was gonna sell you some things. Uh, well, I've got a bunch of these. And this, which probably never use. Um, ancient Nordic that arrow was, so you might be able to find a good price for it. If you can manage to find someone who's, like, into that kind of thing? I don't know. People collect ancient Nordic memorabilia, right? That's a thing that people do? Uh... Uh... I need to figure out what to do with this thing. Ugh. Makes my skin crawl. Um, uh, mm -hmm. 
I... You could probably give these to your husband, actually. I think that's... Uh, I want to hang on to that one. I don't want to hang on to this one. Or that. I think that's about it. Thank you for your time. Come back to bits and pieces anytime. I will. Uh, if I'm ever in solitude again. Like I said, I tend to be all around the place. <laughs> okay. Time to break the news. Let me know if you see anything you like. She has an assistant, apparently. Um. Hello, I'm Gizly, but you can just call me Erica's sister. Everyone does. Hmm. Uh. It's good to see a fresh face. You wouldn't have happened to come from White Run, would you? I have some news about your daughter. You got Aldous to tell you something. I knew you would. What did he say? Um... Private Morard is dead. I told her. I told her the Imperial Army would kill her. That this was a war of Jarls and Imperial Generals and we had no part in it. She just wouldn't hear it. It was brave of you to come to me with this. I can't thank you for it, not for this. But you have done me a service. Welcome to the center of the world. Talk to my aunt. Or at least Angelina my brother Eriker's world. She's your aunt? <clears throat> hmm. You look like okay. an adventurous one. I bet we're kindred spirits, you and I. <laughs> but we are. Have you met my dear brother Eriker? The man's as trustworthy as a Khajiit gold. Hi there. Yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna leave you to... Process. I've got some things to do. Good day. Uh, maybe I could lear learn a thing or two from the Bard's College. That was a blunder and a half. Everything's all right. <laughs> kind of. Okay, where am I going? I have so many things that I need to do. Okay, that's where Dead, Ran Dead Man's Respite is. Uh... And I suppose I'm gonna have to go to Riverwood to see whoever that was. Whoever stole the horn. I don't abide fancy clothes, but you look like you might. I hear Radiant Raiments is a large selection. No, I'm really not one for fancy clothes either, but thank you. I suppose that was a backward, sli slightly sideways kind of way of telling me that I'm pretty. Right? That's what that meant. I don't know. Okay, I'm taking this cloak off. It's... I don't need it right at the moment. <sighs> yep, I'm gonna have to get that horn back from whoever stole it, otherwise the Greybeards will never forgive me. They will be very disappointed, and that's not a thing that I want to have happen. Lovely. Uh, great. Well, it's a nice day at least. I could be a bard, couldn't I? Our hero, our hero, claims a warrior's heart. I tell you, I tell you, the dragonborn comes. With a voice wielding power of the ancient Nord art. Believe, believe, the dragonborn comes. Whoa. What's that up there? Oh, let's uh, not run into the tree. Um, right. How am I gonna get there from here? It's actually... Do I go overland? I will go overland. 
Why not? I can take it. I need my shield, though. It's a nice day, and as long as I don't run into any more vampires, we should be fine. What is that? It's a camp of some sort. Blue armor. A... That's a bridge. It's a really big bridge. Stormcloak camp. This close to solitude. <gasps> Oop. There. Ha! Huh! Sure nobody expected that. It's not my fight. It's not my fight. I'm a red guard. This is not my fight. We can get across this river without too much grossness. Oh boy. Do we have to do this? Never should have come here. I could just move along. Not if you're gonna shoot arrows at me. That's beware, beware the dragonborn comes. Yep. Ow. That was a good shot. Taking your gold. Oh. What's this? Warrior by Revan. I'm not gonna bother. Okay, dead man's respite, right? That's where we're going? I'm gonna steer around whatever that is. Oh. I didn't realize that there was a village up here. There was something new every day.